What's up guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to add mobile controls to your Scratch games. First, we got to identify um, the um, features that allow a game to be um, mobile compatible. Let's take a look at this one. This is mobile compatible. This is mobile compatible. This is not mobile compatible. And this is most definitely not mobile, mobile compatible. Well, why is that? Well, um, pretty obvious. Um, on Scratch, um, in a laptop, you have different keys that you can use to move your sprites. Such as, you know, the cursor keys, which allow your cat to move. But on mobile, obviously, you don't have those keys, right? So um, the only mobile um, quotation mark key you have is um, the t your tapping. So, um, this block will be very useful. Mouse down. Because, um, if you hold your finger on, um, your phone, it will say mouse down equals yes. Well, now I'm not holding it down, so. Um, so what we can do is that instead of using this loop, we're gonna say if mouse down, then we're going to point towards, um, point towards our mouse pointer, which in this case is your finger on the tablet. And we're going to move four steps because you know our we have four here so you see now um the cat moves like this i'm um, very basic but it is able to use it, it, it is able to move on um mobile well you see um now our cat kind of glitches when there glitches in there and there's an easy bug fix bug fix to that is that instead of doing this loop we're going to say um point towards minus pointer move distance to mouse pointer divided by four steps let's say four see now it's actually very smooth um our cat moves very smoothly which is a good thing um much more uh, better when you're making a game next i'm going to talk about how to add mobile controls in your platformer games great um i've opened up my platformer tutorial script and as you can see, I've already completed coding the um, costume rendering and our um, control jumping. If I press the up arrow key lightly, it jumps um, slightly less. If I press it longer, then it jumps more. So, um, how do we add mobile controls to a platformer game? Well, um, when you're using a platformer script, it has to use an if right arrow key pressed or an if, level, if left arrow key pressed block because that will control your vertical movement, right? Well, so how can we replace that? Well, we're gonna use the mouse down block. Um, so what can um, we use to replace right arrow pressed? Instead of saying right arrow pressed, we can say if mouse down and our player, um, our player's um, X position is less than our, our mouse position. So we're gonna say X position um less than our mouse x which will be the x position our mouse is in so if i say if key right arrow pressed or mouse down and x position is less than mouse x this will allow us to have um computer controls and mobile controls see now if i hold down um if i hold down um my uh, mouse here it's going to go there. Well, we're now we can simply duplicate the script and um, paste it in our left arrow key pressed block. So let me just duplicate that. However, this time we're going to say if mouse down and our mouse X is less than the player Y position, um, X position. So, you know, here. Then we're going to change X val by speed times negative one or whatever you have um, inputted in there. See, now we already have vertical movement, see? Um, that's a big problem of well controls. Um, this thing um, in the middle is something that's kind of inevitable. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, now we can move our player with our mouse. But we also need to inc include jumping. So how can we do that? Well, we can replicate this script very similarly in our jump scripting block. Let's say here, we're going to say mouse down 
or sorry and um, our uh, mouse Y is bigger than um, our player Y position so um, if mouse Y is larger than our Y position then we're going to jump so an or block stick it in there boom you see now sorry about my sorry about my computer worrying um, our player can jump and you can see that it works well with control jumping too if you tap lightly it jumps less but if you hold it it jumps higher I'm gonna teach this in part four of our platformer tutorial anyway now we have a very good um, mobile control script um, you can try it out on your mobile tablet but I don't actually have a smartphone or iPad so um, yeah I usually just use my mom's um, great that's pretty much what I want to talk about in this tutorial I hope this was useful um, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Scratch tutorials.